actually that you're, you're still gonna sit here and deny that you listen to me <laughs> just I don't I don't know what to say anymore I don't feel like yelling I don't want to argue anyways there was no way to predict that the market would rally over the high and over the open and rally into the close yesterday there was no way to predict that in the pre-market so in the pre-market we read the gap and we rated the gap and we played the sell-off now at some point yesterday whenever that was you saw the sell-off wasn't going to continue and then it was very obvious the market was going to flip but there would have been no way to predict at all that that was going to happen until it actually did in the live price action so that's why if you want to trade you play what is predictable high odds which was the sell-off yesterday you take it you short it you get out now i'm predicting the market is going to make new highs not before the end of 2018 but in the future in 2019 that is predictable based on my read of the price action overall for the long term for the market so you train what is predictable. You don't train what is not predictable. No one should have gone long in the market at all yesterday. At any point, anywhere at all, even if you saw that it was pushing back, you wouldn't have gone long it. One, it was a gap down, and two, you couldn't have predicted it was going to make that big move that it did, so you don't play it. You play what is predictable if you want to have consistent results, and that is what I direct you to do. Whether you listen to me or not is up to you. I talked so much about the market this week it was like ad nauseum, and I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh, this is at 31. Is anyone still in it? Oh, that's hilarious. Is anyone still in this? This was a nice call. Probably got out of this a little too soon. It was a lack of conviction. It's called exhaustion. Time of the day, Friday, long week. Mimi, what did you do? Mimi broke even today or here? This is going to break 31. What did you do with this here, Mimi? Well, break even is better than losing, but what did you do? Did you kill it? What did you do here with this situation? <sighs> wow, this is going to break 31. Here it goes. It could even go to 30. And this has to help with the market now. Mimi, what did you do with this thing? Here it goes. It's going to break 31. Look how fast this last dollar happened, too. So we got out before this last thing happened, but look how big this was. This went, this literally went doot, 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 and then it went, pfft. look at that. <laughs> I just had no more patience left. That last dollar happened in five minutes. Literally, look. You push the buy button on tip instead of the short button. Oh, uh, that's, yeah. Well, that's why you're practicing this week and use small size. Just don't do that again. I mean, that you know, when you're new, that could happen. So that was a problem, yes. Today, you did short this though, right? No, I don't regret getting out at all. And here's why. I'll just tell you this and let everybody go. Although this rolled over very nicely here and then just went do the fact is that again it it was heading there once it broke but what time what time was going to act going to happen like if you'd asked me 15 minutes ago once we were up in it and it finally was going could I guarantee it was going to go to 32 at least or 31 probably I would have said yes but I couldn't tell you what time and I didn't want to trade till two o'clock today we've had some late trades lately noon one two i mean come on i didn't i didn't even care so at a certain point you say i know it's going to go and i don't want to trade all day today now this did go very fast but you couldn't have known that and you wouldn't have known it so it's you know you also have to look at what you've got going on with your life and your your level of patience yesterday the patience with the market was very well warranted it was very obvious to me the market was going to fall off a cliff yesterday. But I didn't know what time this would go.
This is crazy now. It's going to go to 30. You killed it too early. Headed back to work. Thanks for the quick trade. Have a good week. Mrs. Market. Yes, thank you. Now, this is probably the morning exit here. 10, 20, 10, 30 right here. This little, this is, that's probably it. Yeah, the market's going to close with no read on it. All right, good job, everyone. Galahad, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm tired of yelling at you. Um, what else? Anybody else? I will have a good weekend. Thank you. Everybody have a good weekend as well. Have a great weekend. Relax yourselves. Come back Monday morning fresh. I don't know if we get any gaps at all Monday morning, though. There's nothing on the board. We'll look. We'll see. Who knows? All right. Mimi, you learned a lot this week. And Gyro, I hope your dad gets better. Keep in touch with me. All right. Have a good day. You're welcome.